Hey guys, welcome to D3D5. My name is Saurav. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail the different types of FDM printers. I hope you guys have watched our previous video on the basics of 3D printing and overview of FDM printer. If not, I recommend you please go and watch the previous video first before continuing this. Also, there is a twist in this video. If you are able to find it, please write down in the comment below. Earlier, FDM printers had a rectangular and box shaped designs. However, today we are moving into the more sophisticated designs. Today we have to explore different types of FDM 3D printers. Cartesian, Delta, Polar, FDM printer with a robotic arm and with a conveyor belt and show you how each type works. Now let's start with Cartesian 3D printers, the most common design found in consumer based 3D printers. Based on the Cartesian coordinate system in mathematics, this technology uses 3 axes X, Y and Z to determine the correct position and direction of the printhead. With this type of printer, the printing bed usually moves on the Z axis, with the printhead working on 2 dimensions on the XY plane. But nowadays, printer bed moves in the Y axis and printed works in XZ axis. This is mechanically simple design and therefore easier to maintain, but at the sacrifice of printing speed. Another style that's growing in popularity is the Delta 3D printer. Two students from the University of Zurich have created this 6 axis 3D printer. Delta 3D printers also work within the Cartesian plane. The extruder is suspended above the print bed by three arms in a triangular configuration, thus the name Delta. Each of the three points then move up and down, thereby determining the position and direction of the printhead. Delta printers were designed to speed up the printing process. However, many believe that this type of printer is not as accurate as the conventional Cartesian printer. Third in our line is the Polar 3D printer. In Polar 3D printer, the positioning is not determined by the X, Y, and Z coordinates, but by an angle and a length. This means that the plate rotates and moves at the same time, with the extruder moving up and down. Moreover, Polar 3D printers can have a greater wave volume and a smaller space. Our next type is FDM with a robotic arm, but it is also called Selective Complex Assembly Robotic Arm, in short SCARA. This type of 3D printer looks and moves much like an industrial robot on a car assembly line. While 3D printing has begun to incorporate robotic arms into the production process, most notably seen in the 3D printing of homes and buildings, this technology still remains in the development stage. In addition, thanks to the flexibility when positioning the FDM 3D printer head, it is easier to create complex structures. Final print quality is not as good as a conventional Cartesian printer. The last type of printer we are going to discuss is recently got invented and added to this lineup. This is Conveyor Belt 3D Printer, also called Infinite 3D Printer. However, the capabilities of 3D printer are limited by the requirement of human operation. 
The need for manual partnering over prevents 3D printer from being used for mass production purposes. A 3D printer that can print a continuous stream of parts without user interaction. This machine is capable of independently ejecting and starting print jobs. Additional to this, the 3D printer's curved belt mechanism allows it to make infinitely long prints. Well, I hope you guys have understood the different types of FDM printers. Also, in next video, we are going to discuss in detail about the different types of filaments used for FDM printers. And if you love 3D printing technology, then subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for all 3D printing updates. Also, if you want our object or design to be 3D printed, then there is a link in the description box. Please go and check it out.